Hello again. So now we can navigate our menu with the gamepad and click on a button in our inventory. But we need a way to actually start letting the player know that they've got an item selected and passing along some information back and forth. So first thing we want to do is open up our inventory icon UI, go into the graph and we want to add a variable that is uh, we'll just call it item index. This will be an integer and we want to make it instance editable and expose on spawn. So that in our player HUD when we create that inventory icon widget, we'll right click, refresh that, we'll feed in this index. The reason we're doing this is so that when we click on this button later on it can communicate to the player that's using the mouse and be able to basically do the same thing. It'll select the item that we're using. But before we get into all that, we'll just carry on with what we was doing. So in our player HUD widget, we can add an image to our inventory canvas. And with it selected, oh, it automatically goes into the scroll box. I don't want it in the scroll box. There we go. If it gets parented to the scroll box, just drag it right above it. In, in as long as it has this little blue line, you can detach it. So for the alignment on the X, I'm going to put it at 1 so that it sits outside our inventory. Position X, negative 25, size X, 75, size Y, 75. And this is going to be our selected item icon. This will basically let them know what they just clicked on and verify that that's the item that they're going to use if they click it again. So in the graph, We'll create a new custom event called update selected item. It will take in an input of an item info. So item info. We'll make that an item info struct type. And then what we want to do is we want to get that selected item icon and then make brush make slate brush just like that oh what is it let's see make slate brush oh set brush okay from the item icon itself you want to set brush and then we're going to make a slate brush right here my bad so from the item info, we'll break that open. Plug in our item image. And then for the image size, I'm gonna set it to 75 and 75 right here so that it doesn't shrink it down. So just drag everything around and line it back up. Compile. And then back in the player base, when we select an item, we'll get rid of our print string. In here, we will get our inventory, get a copy of the item at the index we've clicked. Let's create a new variable called selected item that will be an item info struct. And then right here we can set that. So set it like that. And then we'll get our HUD ref. And then we'll, what is it? Update selected item. Just to verify that it is indeed working. I like to work in small little chunks. So we, I think I can only pull this from the multiplayer controller right now. So yeah, since there's nothing there, it just goes back to blank. Alright, so now we'll do a little bit more tweaking. So I don't want that thing visible when it first starts up, so we'll click that and go into our visibility, hidden by default, and then we'll compile. Then over here, on this side, we'll take this item ID and see if it's equal to empty, add a branch, and if it's not, then we will 
Actually, we don't need a branch. We will just, from the selected item icon, set visibility. Then right here on the invisibility, we can do a select. I'm so used to using branches that I forget we can use the select too. And it cleans up the nodes a lot. So if it is empty, we want it hidden. But if it's, I got this backwards earlier. If it is empty, equals it. Oh, okay. So if it's not empty, as in, is it equal to empty? No, then be visible. Is it equal to empty? Yes, be hidden. I got that. I got that backwards in my test project earlier and it, it drove me nuts for a while. So let's try it one more time. Not there. Oop. Picked up a health potion. Excellent. So now we need a way of how do we go about using the item. So we're going to add a new function that will be our use item function. It will take an input. It can either be an index or an item info. I'm just going to pass in item info, which will be our item info struct. If you pass in an index, you'll have to get the inventory, get a copy, and then pull this. It's just easier to just do it this way. But, you know, to each their own. So, I'm going to... Get all this and move it this way because we want to first see if we have an item selected. So we will break this open and in here let's see if the item ID is equal to empty. Add a branch. And if it is, then we can just set our item info as it is. But if it's not equal to empty, we want to see if the item we just clicked is the same index as our current item. Because if it is, they've basically double clicked on an item and they want to use it. So I'm going to find item. Then we can plug in our selected item info and see if this is equal to this. So if the item index we just clicked is equal to the item index that we just clicked that we have selected. We'll add one more branch and if it is then we will use item but if it's not then we want to update our selected item. I know it gets a little bit convoluted. It's uh, it's just because we have to do a workaround in order to get game pads working right. So once we use the item, I want to set my selected item back to empty. So I just drag out one and don't hook it to anything, and then we'll hook that to our update selected item. So let's go into our use item function real quick, and we'll break this open. And we're just going to print string of the item name that we have just tried to use, just to verify that it's working as intended. So multiplayer. And it's printing out my health potion. Now if I pick up a steak, I can click the potion. I don't want to use that. I want to use a steak. So now I can double click on it with the X button and it'll use the item that we're trying to use. Now right now mouse and keyboard player can't do nothing. So we'll fix them up next. And The way we're gonna do that is in our character blueprint. I think it's in our character blueprint. Yeah, in our player BPI, the one we added to our character, we will add a new function called update select item that will pass in a integer, so item index. 
we'll get our integer and then compile that and then in our inventory icon we'll highlight our button and go to the on clicked event and when it's clicked we want to get our player index get player character and then pass along that message so we'll say select item update select item and then we'll just feed in that item index like that boom so now over here in the player base let's go into the event graph and then right here next to it I'm just gonna say event select event update select item we'll call our select item function and just like that should be all we need in order to get this going so we'll come in here now that's working and I double click and it uses it alright so in the next one we'll start working on getting our character equipping some tools and such and I will see you all in a bit bye